Introduction Priya's mother is looking at the map of Sikkim. Priya wants to know why. Her mother tells her that she is planning of a family visit to Sikkim next week. She wants the trip to be a memorable one for everyone. Therefore, she is planning. She will use the map to learn about the various spaces in Sikkim, their location, the distances between them, etc. Let us learn about maps in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define map, magnetic compass, cartography and atlas. Distinguish between political and physical maps. Maps A map represents some portion or all of Earth's surface trigrammatically. It shows countries of the world, their capitals, cities and towns. It also shows the various landforms and water bodies on Earth. Maps use pictures or signs to denote rivers, mountains, etc. Such pictures and signs are known as symbols. Some common symbols used in maps are black lines to represent roads, blue lines to represent rivers, the color green to represent parks, dots to represent houses, and a fireman's hat to represent fire stations. Magnetic Compass A magnetic compass is a simple device which helps us to locate a place. It has a long needle. One end of the needle is marked N to represent the north direction. No matter where you are on Earth's surface, the needle of the magnetic compass will always point to the north direction. Thus, one can find all other directions in relation to north. Cartography Cartography is the science of drawing maps. The person who draws maps is known as a cartographer. In the olden days, maps were drawn using hand tools. Hand cartography was a time-consuming and difficult process. Maps drawn using hand tools were also inaccurate. But nowadays, maps are drawn with the help of computer software, hence they are more accurate. Self-assessment Drag the correct words from the options given below and drop them on the sentences to complete them. Atlas An atlas is a collection of maps and charts. The maps in an atlas give the geographical information about different parts of the world. The charts in an atlas contain details of specific locations such as population, sea levels, crops produced, etc. Maps are of two types, political and physical. Let us learn about them in detail. Political maps A political map is a map that shows lines defining countries, states and territories. Its purpose is to show the political borders. For example, the world political map shows all the countries of the world with their capitals. Similarly, the political map of Europe depicts all the political boundaries and also the names and capitals of all the countries in Europe. Thus, political maps help us in understanding the world better. Simulation Roll the mouse over the continents to see them on map. Physical Maps Physical maps illustrate the physical features of an area such as mountains, rivers and lakes. Water bodies are usually colored blue in a physical map. Different colors are used to show different land elevations, green for lower elevations and orange or brown for higher elevations. For example, the physical map of Africa shows the African continent located between the Atlantic Ocean on the west and the Indian Ocean in the east. The African continent is also shown as sharing its northeast border with the Red Sea. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A map represents some portion or all of Earth's surface trichromatically. A magnetic compass is a simple device that points to the north direction. Cartography is the science of drawing maps. An atlas is a collection of maps and charts. A political map shows lines defining countries, states and territories. Physical maps illustrate the physical features of an area such as mountains, rivers, lakes, etc.